In this video, we will design a two-way slave by using the Excel sheet. You can design a two-way slave and also you can design a one-way slave by using this Excel sheet. First, we check the slave uh, whether it is a two-way slave or one-way slave. So, the dimension of this slave is 12 feet 16 feet and this slave is 12 feet 16 feet and this slab is 9 feet wide and longer dimension is 12 feet plus 0.75 because the brick thickness is 9 inch and uh, 12 feet so it become 24.75 feet so first we check this slab so here the longer dimension is 16 feet and the shorter dimension is 12 feet so it is less than from 2 it showed that it is a two way slip if i put here for example 5 so it is one way slip so you cannot use this excel sheet for one way slip for one way slip you you go to this excel sheet so our dimension is 12 feet so it is two way slip now put the material fc 3000 psi and fy 4000 psi so put it in KSI so divide by 1000 so it's mean that uh, it is 3 and it is 40 now the thickness of slave here automatically uh, we use according to ACI minimum you can use 3.73 inch but we take uh, the value more than 3.73 so here I can use 5 inch it calculate the effective depth of the slave now here you can put the load which is acting on the slave so here in given data uh, load of the slave 4 inch mud 2 inch brick tile and lie load is 40 PSA so you can put here the loads which are acting on the slave here uh, self weight is automatically calculated now the mud thickness is 4 inch so here you can put the 4 and brick tile is 2 now the floor finishing there is no such a load and uh, per partition wall we use 15 psa but we cannot use because there is no information about the partition wall lie load so i put here the lie load of 40 PSF so 0 0.040 so the W dead load 0.147 KSF and the W lie load 0 0.064 KSF and the combination of dead load and lie load 0 0.211 KSF so here now we put the moment coefficient C A negative coefficient C B positive dead load coefficient for C A and C B positive live load coefficient C A and C B so first find the value of C A C B for negative coefficient so here first we uh, find our case date what type of slave we have so if we see here our slave is continuous in longer direction so here this is a longer direction lb represent longer direction la represent shorter direction so our our uh, slave is continue in longer direction only it's mean that in lb direction so here this slave is continuous in only longer direction so we can count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's mean that uh, our case is 6. So m is equal to 0 0.75. As I told you, it is directly calculated from dimension. So for negative moment, C A C B. So 0 0.75 and case is 6 it's coming 0 0.088 and 
for C B 0 0.70 so here 0 0.75 and case is 6 so 0 you can put value 0 0.088 and 0 now for positive dead load C A and C B M is equal to 0 0.75 in case 6 is coming 0 0.048 and here 0 0.013 now here for live load CA 0 0.055 and here 0 0.016 okay now you can see the demand after you put the coefficient the negative moment and positive moment will be calculated directly in kips inch per feet so here you can see the moment in shorter direction ma represent shorter direction mb represent longer direction 32.09 kips inch and mub zero MUA positive in shorter direction the moment is 18.28 and MUB 9.02 now we will check these demand that, uh, if we provide the minimum reinforcement it has ability to resist all these demand so for uh, grade 40 you can use the AS minimum 0.12 in square and it resists the moment 16.94 kips inch per feet and per 60 ksi you can use the as minimum 0 0.108 and uh, it resists the moment 22.71 kips inch per feet so for spacing if you uh, provide number 3 bar so you provide spacing 11 in center to center for grade 40 for grade 60 12 in center to center for number 4 bar you provide the 9 19.5 or 19 in center to center or 18 in center to center and for grade 60 you can uh, provide 20 in center to center so our grade is 40 so uh, we use this value now we compare this value only this value is less than from this so for mub positive we not take this value or uh, here mub so for this a is b is 0 0.063 which is less than from this and according to aci uh, we use AS minimum 0.12 so we cannot provide this value so for this moment we will use the AS minimum and the spacing is number 3 at the rate of 11 in center to center so now for this and for this moment we will uh, design a steel area and then we calculate the spacing so here uh, it calculate automatically for this value the a is is 0.223 and for number 3 bar the spacing is 5.92 so you will provide 5.5 .5 in center to center or 5 in center to center you will take the value less than from this okay now here if we use number 4 bar so the spacing is 10.56 but here we take the number 3 bar so we will take also here number 3 bar so for this moment uh, we will uh, take the uh, spacing 5.5 .5 in center to center for this it is 0 and for this value 18.28 the area is coming 0 0.127 and the spacing is 10.40 so we provide 10 in center to center 
now the temperature bar temperature bar we provide in the slab or uh, a is minimum so for a is minimum the spacing is 11 in center to center so we provide the temperature bar number 3 bar in the rate of 11 in center to center we apply the ci check for main bar and temperature bar for main bar it is 15 or 18 inch and for temperature bar it is 45 and 18 inch so first we check the main bar our spacing should be uh, less than from this two value so here it is a uh, 5.92 which is less than and uh, asa is 10.40 which is less than from this and this is not okay but here i told you before that we use here the as minimum so our spacing is 11 in center to center so it is less than from this so it is okay now for temperature bar uh, fy40 11 in center to center and its requirement is 25 and 18 and so this value is less than from this so it is okay the next step is drafting so you can see this slab uh, we have a two-way slab these both slab are two-way slab and if we design for this slab so uh, we can use this value for this because the load are same so here uh, the b is 16 uh, it is calculated automatically from uh, the dimension and it is 12 feet now here uh, if this slab dimension is changed you can change this dimension but here the dimension is same so we take the value 12 feet so this slab dimension is also 12 feet so here a bar b bar d d a b represent the positive bar and d and c represent the negative bar now for b you can put here the wall thickness is 9 inch and hook is we provide two hook and cover the concrete cover of slab is 0.75 inch and bar in sutter we provide number three bar so here i will put the three so uh, here the length of bar of b this bar is 12.91 feet and a bar this bar 16.91 now the c bar this bar uh, the length of this bar is a by 3 from left face and from this it is also a by 3 so here the board length is same so we will get the same so we get the same length 4 feet and 4 feet so you can provide this bar the total length is 8 feet now d bar so this bar is b by 4 because it is along the b direction and it is a by 3 because it is uh, along the uh, shorter direction so here a by 4 3 mean this d this bar length is 3 feet and this bar length is 4 feet now the bar spacing is this bar is on 10 in center to center and a is 11 in center to center c is 5.9 in center to center and d is 11 in center to center so it is a complete design of two-way slave